has arrived. Brandon Lee is just as excited, intense, and charismatic as his legendary father. Whatever it takes, like father, <laughs> like son, like dynamite. Rapid Fire, rated R. Starts Friday, August 21st at theaters everywhere. The final results of the Chicago stop of the Bud Light Triathlon Series. Brad Bevan won for the men and Joy Hansen for the women. Brad Bevan, great race today. Were you uh, worried about uh, Mark Allen coming up from behind? Yeah, well, he, I knew he'd push it all the way. He's pretty tough competitive. Yeah. I knew I had to push it all the way to the finish line. I uh, had a few little looks there. Yeah, looks behind. And uh, the last probably two miles, he started really pushing it. And uh, I had to pick up the pace again. So you knew where he was at? Yeah, yeah. I felt good all the way to the end. So um, I'm still had a little bit left anyway. The leaders in the Coke Grand Prix after Chicago, Wesley Hobson is leading for the men, and Joy Hansen continues to lead for the women. On the international scene in the ITU World Cup Series, Brad Bevan, who won here in Chicago, is leading for the men, and Melissa Montak of the United States is leading for the women. My name is Bob Babbitt. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of the Bud Light stop here in Chicago, and we'll see you in Las Vegas. This has been a presentation of Bud Sports in association with Prime Network. You're watching the Prime Ticket Network. Good showmanship. The way professional wrestling used to be. That's been the foundation and formula of the Universal Wrestling Federation. It began in the summer of 1990 with a mandate from founder and president Herb Abrams to bring professional wrestling back to the glory days. UWF Charter has followed in the footsteps of some of the great teachers of the school. Now, in the proud tradition of these and other great champions, the UWF is ready to break from the past. Thank you for joining us this week at the Universal Wrestling Federation. I'm Craig DeGeorge, and you know who my partner is, the Golden Greek, John Solis. And this week, John, we've got a look at Sunny Beach. We'll see Vladimir Kolov, Death Row, 3260. And a guy you'll be hearing a lot about. He's about 6'8 or so, way over 300 pounds. He's a night stalker. You know what gets me? All these kids are 26, 27, 28 years old, but, man, they're 6'6". Six, six. They weigh 300 pounds. They really grow them big today. They certainly do. So get ready for the Fury Hour coming up next. On this week's show, Vladimir Kolov will take on Pistol Pez Watley. Jeff Rowe, 3.260, will take on the Giant from Atlanta, Georgia, the Night Stalker. Sonny Beach, part of Wet n' Wild, will take on none other than Barry Howard. All coming up in this great hour of action. What you're about to see is a main event anywhere in the world because of some bad blood in the locker room. Jeff Rowe, 3260, will take on the Night Stalker. Weighing 350 pounds, Death Row 3260. And now entering the ring area from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 305 pounds, the Night Stalker. Wrestlers here in the UWF. One guy you have been most impressed with. This man tonight's the 
miracle. There's no question about it, man. This guy, believe me, he's only been wrestling a few couple of years, but this guy is what you call a natural. You know, this guy's got something in him, man. It's called style. You don't buy it in a drugstore. You don't buy it in a supermarket. It's inside you. He's got it. You understand? You look at this guy, and you know right away that he's a great, great wrestler. He reminds me like a Mickey Mantle and a, a Michael Jordan and a Joe DiMaggio. These guys had style. This is what this guy reminds me of, believe it or not. And he's big. Six foot seven, 310 pounds, and the guy's a tremendous athlete. And actually, the guy that he's wrestling is no slow cheater. 3260, baby. And 350, as far as the weight goes for death row. Oh, he can't budge the nice stalker. He has a 40 pound weight advantage. They are almost the same height. And this is going to be some test of strength. these two guys in the same cell in the state pen <laughs> i don't think they have a cell big enough to put these two guys in <laughs> irish whip oh, to the corner oh, oh at first i felt sorry for the turnbuckle what an arm drive what an arm drive by mr 3260 death row 3260 death row and it is mr to you man both of them are mister to me pal he's both of them on the bar by death row 3260 did some time in prison says he did not do anything and says now he is just angry to get even with anybody anybody who gets in his way can you be it in the ring or outside the ring or if you're a color commentator <laughs> nice doctor Trying to use that strength. He's quick and powerful. Well, I'm telling you one thing, man. They're hitting one another from downtown, man. From downtown. What a tremendous elbow by the Night Stalker. Oh, man. Oh, and a great... Oh, look at this. Now it's really moving. The Night Stalker's got this guy on the run, baby. Got him on the run. He's got that throw number 3260 on the run. 320 pounds. Moving and moving. Look at this guy, man. Up he cuts. Oh! A blow to the belly. Look at Death Row pick him up so easily. He picked up a 300 pounder easily and body slammed him down. Look at this move now. Look at this move by On Death the mid rope. Diving off the mid rope. Oh. Flash with Stalker get out of the way. He flashed him, but Stalker somehow quickly got out of the way. Wow. This has been some evening Woo. so far. What great wrestling matches. I mean, super fantastic wrestling matches. Everything goes, you know. Every match is excellent, fantastic. Blood and guts all the way. Trying to get him off the top rope there, but that's like pulling him away from a big meal. That might be tough to do. How many slingshots him backwards? <laughs> You know, as I said before, both these guys are very good, very big, and they move fast. And believe me, they're showing one another that I'm better than you. Oh! He, says, he picked him up. 320 pounds. He's 50. Like it was nothing. The night stalker looked at this guy and says, listen, man, I'm better than you. No, he's got the hatch. You got to get out of there. It's an axe, my boy. It's an axe. And you better take a little roly-poly out of the ring, man. That's it. No That's way. it. That's oh. oh! He nearly sliced the ring in half. The rope. And look at... What's he look doing in there? What's he doing in there? That's Terry. David Dynamite Terry getting in there to help out his... friend, I guess. Death row 3 2 3 2 6 2 for this small occasion because he brought the axe into the ring. Back to basics, what professional wrestling used to be. That's what the Universal Wrestling Federation is all about. Here are the power of the UWF. Here are the latest information of the UWF stars, upcoming shows, feuds and debuts. We've got Steve Dr. Death Williams, Paul Mr. Wonderful Orndorff, B. Brian Blair, Cowboy Bob Orton, 
John Polis. Captain Lou Albano, right here. Wow, when you talk about Herb Abrams, when you're talking about Steve Williams, you're talking about the class personified, the true world champion. And this is the man, chairman of the board, president of Universal Wrestling, that's bringing wrestling back to where it should be. A proud bunch of men that are truly men. World's best athletes, professional wrestling. Woo! Universal Wrestling. Call now. Join the growing legion of wrestling fans and fanatics all over the world to join the Universal Wrestling Federation power line. Call 1-900-420-4UWF. Call now! It's hard to believe what life would be like without pencils, telephones, computers, and even paper clips. And yet these everyday products were created by people much like you. If you have an idea, invention, or new product you'd like to submit to industry, Invention Submission Corporation has a free inventor's kit to help you get started. The kit contains a form for recording and dating your invention, an information brochure, and other materials of interest to inventors. Invention Submission Corporation is one of America's largest invention service companies. We can show you how your invention can be packaged and submitted to industry. So call ISC now for your free inventor's kit. For your free inventor's kit, call 1-800-331-1700. The call and the information is free. Call 1-800-331-1700. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Weighing 245 pounds, Pistol Page Whatley. Stuff. You know, he's a southern boy, my boy, a southern boy. And I'll tell you what, I think this pull-off is going to go right through this body like Sherman went through Atlanta, baby. That's what I'm going to say. And down goes Cola, yeah. one, and two. Almost and just, away right there. He just got out of that one, man. It was a great move by Bourbon Street. Tremendous move. Vladimir Koloff came here 17 years ago as an exchange student. And he went to college at Oklahoma State. And he body slammed Watley. And he was a national champion with the Cowboys. Won the title in the Greco as well. He's a hard rider, though, and he, like his uncle, well, what's he going to try to belt backbreaker? Like his uncle, Ivan Koloff, prefers the old ways. You see, he still wears the hammer and sickle. 
It stands for absolutely nothing at this point. That was a, what's happened over there. That was a collegiate national Oklahoma State Junior Olympic champion. He also was Greco-Roman. And this guy's got it, man. He's vicious, mean, just like his uncle. I think Kolob, Ivan Kolob, I think his whole family's mean, vicious, and, and uh, you know, everything goes. Anything you want, baby, they got it. They just take it out of their bag, and they throw it at you, man. Hook, line, and sinker. And look at him just bear resemblance to his brother Nikita. These guys don't know the word uncle. If you're going to beat these guys, if you beat one guy, you got to beat the whole family because they all come out of the woodwork, man. you got to beat all the Kolobs, and there must be about 9 million Kolobs. Oh, he's got the strap around the neck. Wattley, where's the referee? Corbin Red is distracting the referee. Now, this is what's wrong for him. I Look at Red. He does not think anything to the guy. I think that was a great amateur move by Mr. Kolob. I like moves like that. As I was saying, you know, Kolob, you beat one Kolob. Yeah, amateur move. That was a great amateur yeah, move in my eyes. What do you know about that? What do you know about home? I know one thing. This is having a punishing effect on Mr. Ben Block. We talked about Kolob's success at Oklahoma State. He was happy because he just wanted to show that he was better than the American wrestlers there. He did show that. Right now, Sister says Watley is something to show as well. Well, I'll tell you what, Watley's not doing too well. I'll tell you that right now. I think he's just getting overstrength by this Kolob. You know, as I said before, Kolob's the national name in Russia. It's got to be 999,000 million names Kolob. Just like Smith and Brown here. So if this Watley beats this Kolob, he's got to deal with 999 million thousand other Russians. You know what I'm talking about? I understand Grandma Kolob is called and wanted to match up with you. Hey, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. You can learn something from everybody. Remember that. And you, sir, are learning a lot from hey. the Golden Greek, and I'm charging you absolutely nothing. Kind of embarrassing if Grandma Kolob tell you to freak out the Golden Greek. Hey, who knows? I may love that one. Cook those Russians at all. I didn't know that. And there's Colonel Red going crazy. What a brain plus this guy is, man. He's got the brain. He knows what he's doing. He knows every move. He knows every inch of this ring. He's a great manager. Probably trying to work out of that headlock. Doing a pretty good job against a very strong Russian. Couple of elbows to break free. Comes off the rope. Oh, he stripped. This Kolob is tough. Look at the legs Big on this. And powerful. Look at the legs on this Kolob. They're huge. A leg right to the throat. This guy's really moving with the... Now he has the ropes for leverage. This Kolob's a big, huge man. And he knows this wrestler, man. And every he's time Colonel Red talks to the ref, he's pulling all kinds of tricks. Wadley trying to get some pressure around the neck and release... Hold off, it might work. We'll return to this him. great match right after know, these messages. He has like a reverse sleeper of sorts, doesn't he? Oh, here comes a little straight out from Wadley. Maybe he's getting his second win. Maybe he's getting back his second win. He's got... I'm here to tell you about Hard and Heavy, the hardest rock and heaviest video music magazine on planet Earth. For real rock fans only, here's the deal. In-depth, totally uncensored interviews with the biggest rock acts. Only Hard and Heavy gets the inside track on the best new band unsigned band. You'll see and hear them first. Exclusive live concert footage, music videos, special features, competitions, and Lenny's own agony column. The outrageous, hard and heavy animated cartoon and always great music. It's subversive and it's dangerous and isn't that what rock and roll is meant to be? You won't see this on television. Before you buy your next record or concert ticket, check out the cutting edge of hard and heavy video magazine. Call 1-800-647-9999 now to receive your first volume, and with your order, you'll receive free a 30-minute video of 50 <laughs> rock stars. And if you order within the next 30 minutes, you'll receive a free hard and heavy bumper sticker. No other publication has it all. The Cal High Sports edition of Student Sports Magazine. Monthly coverage of California's youth high school JC and college teams, players and coaches, combined with the edge on how to improve athletically and academically. That's right, skill tips in all sports, plus concentration, self-discipline, and nutritional tips for peak performance. 
Call now. 800-888-TIPS. Just $29. That's 800-888-TIPS. Capture the Olympic spirit with the greatest basketball team ever assembled with an official U.S. team poster. In one dramatic action shot, the entire team is captured in this full-color 22 by 28 inch print of an original oil painting. And I'm telling you that you're missing a chance in a lifetime if you don't support the U.S. Olympic team. Go for the gold with this unique poster for only $19.95. Call 800-568-9339. Credit cards only. Call 800-568-9339. Down. But I tell you what, I think Kohlhoff's a little stronger than Bourbon Street Watney. Nobody's got Kohlhoff down now. Oh, right in the eye, man. What a great amateur move by Kohlhoff. What amateur wrestling have you been watching? Him with an open fist to the face. That was a Greco-Roman style move. Says Watley, oh, oh, here he goes again. He didn't do enough damage to the promoter, Herb Abrams. Now he's going to give it to Bourbon Street Watley. And Watley, fortunately, did not take as much punishment from those shots as poor Mr. Abrams did last week. He's still recuperating in the hospital. We do want to tell you, fans, he is recovering. And with the exception of some stitches and a concussion, We'll see him back here pretty soon, hopefully. Watley back into the corner. Oh! One of up, nobody home! Did you see that Russian go down? He went down like a great big oak tree. And here comes Bourbon Street Watley. I like that name. Here he comes, man. Shaking and rolling. Here he comes. Looks like he's got his second win, too. I headbutt! I headbutt on Koloff! A left! A hand. A left and a right. Oh! What a right by Bourbon Street Watley. He's got pulled off in big trouble. Well, Pistol Sands still had a couple of bullets left, I guess. Now he's on the uh, middle of the rope. He'll get good leverage there as he may hammer away at him now. One, two, there he goes. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get that ten right right to the chin of the Russian, and down he goes, like a big oak tree. Bourbon Street Wally coming in. One, two, and, wow. and the Russian shows his brute strength. Oh, this match is getting wild, boy, and the Greek loves it. Woo, what a match. What good a battle. move. Back and forth. Woo. Very good. Back and forth. Oh, he's going after Mr. Red. He'd like to get a piece of the colonel. That Colonel Red's all over the ring, all over the ring. Pretty quick to run away, though, isn't he, when it's even up the, ma the makings of a great manager. The makings of a great manager. And there's a great manager. One, two, oh, pull off. Just barely made it. Pretty quick to run away is Colonel Red. Now his man getting the better of the action. Well, I'd like to see somebody just take a shot at Colonel Red. You like to see it, but you'll never see it. Why is Believe he going to white? He's got a white outfit on. Pistol Pez Watley in trouble here against the big Russian. Oh, big roundhouse left that connected to the face of Watley. And I'm surprised that didn't bloody the face. I gotta tell you something, man. Nobody's running out of gas in this one. Oh! Just into that one, thank goodness. What a oh, fight! Oh, Brock took him down! Oh, took him down, and over goes one. And the Russian follows him right out of the ring. They're both out of the ring now. They're both hurt. Here comes the count. Three, four, five. They're both slowly getting up now. You're doing much better in your count, though, John. Oh, he's got the chair. And he just cracked him. Didn't do anything. He hit him twice with a chair and had no effect on Pistol Pez Watley. But those big roundhouse rights did. And we got a bell. Headbutt outside the ring. They're going back and forth outside the ring. They hit the bell once. 
This thing is over, I think. Everybody's going crazy again. Here come the wrestlers. Koloff is in there. What are these guys doing there? Colonel Redman Koloff has gotten in the middle of this battle. As we try and get over there and show you exactly what is going on. Somebody else in the middle of things. Who is that? Is that Husker? They're all in there, man. It's a mass confusion. They're all in there. You have Husker trying to break that up. The Russian is being pulled away. Appears to be a double count out here in a wild matchup from South Carolina. This is going crazy. They're all going nuts now. They're all going wild. There's seven, eight wrestlers out here holding back Bourbon Street Watley and Koloff. Everybody's going crazy. They got chairs. They took the wild chair into the ring. And there's Colonel Red. Everybody's going wild. What a night of professional wrestling. Now everybody's crazy. There must be a full moon out there, man. There must be a full moon. This will Pez Watley finally has gotten their breather. And that'll do it in a wild matchup. I like a man who knows what I want without my having to paint him a picture. That's why the very first question I ask a new man is, has he seen this video, How to Read a Woman Like a Book? If he has, then I know I've got a man who knows exactly what I want, a man that I don't have to coach. This video shows you how to read a woman, how to know her moods, how to know what she really means when she's saying one thing and doing another. Why guess when you can know? And the step-by-step -step demonstrations in this video show you how to know. Knowledge that will make any woman want to come to you. It's just 1995, so call now and stop guessing what a woman wants. And know, call now. I like a man who knows. To order your copy of How to Read a Woman Like a Book video for 1995 plus 450 postage and handling, call toll-free 1-800-438-9595. That's 1-800-438-9595. Call now. When was the last time you stood up and cheered at a movie? Dick Town, the surprise hit of the summer, should have you cheering all year. You'll want to rush and tell your friends about this riotous action comedy. It's a cast that can't be beat. James Wood, Louis Gossip Jr., Dick Town, rated R. Now playing at theaters everywhere. From Tel Aviv, Israel, weighing 236 pounds, Mary, the star of David Horowitz. And from Santa Monica, California, weighing in. joining us. We've got a big hour in store. Of course, we've got the big main event matchup coming up later on. Bob Orton and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff for the Southern State Championship belt of Mr. Orton Holt. Plenty before that, including this big matchup. Sunny Beach, very popular gentleman here in the UWF, taking on a pretty tough customer, Barry Harwood. Well, he's well, Vladimir Kovac later on. That was a great entrance by Sunny Beach, jumping over the top rope to get into the ring. I hope that's all. That's not all he knows, because he really has to know a lot to get through this guy, the star of David Horowitz, because I've seen his Horowitz wrestle, and he's got it, man. He's got it. And I'm going to tell you something, what, Mr. Uh, Beach Boy. I don't think 
the surfing lessons that you give out in Santa Monica is going to help you one iota. I don't give out any, sir. Are you talking about? I'm talking about you. I'm sick and tired of you. I'm tired, sick and tired of talking about you. Johnny Beach has this big crowd behind him. Larry Harwood says, okay, what about me? Let's get this going. Come on, that's Johnny Beach, baby. Six foot, four inches, 270 pounds. And he's got a finish hold, man. Calls the wipeout. And there's Harwood. Harwood wants the crowd reaction to you the beginning. Boost. And Horowitz is looking good. Horowitz is six foot, 222 pounds, and he's from St. Pete, Florida. You know, Florida's got some, I know you live in Florida, but Florida's got some great, great athletes. Believe me, super athletes. And you don't have to tell me. They have the uh, national champion football team. You know, this Horowitz, 11 years pro, man. 11 years pro, and the guy still looks tremendous. He ain't got too many marks on him, you know, because he wasn't a catcher, baby. He was a pitcher. I didn't know that. He's going to work on the neck of Barry Harwood. Sonny has toured Japan. I asked him, what are the features like there in Japan? He said they're a little rocky. He doesn't like them as much as the eastern and western coast here in the United States. Good tackle. You have to go like Japan. Sunday, yes. I've been to Japan many, many times, and I'll tell you what. I don't particularly care for their food. I don't go for pigeon eggs, and I don't go for raw fish, and I don't go for all those other little things. That's why the Japanese are three foot two inches tall, because they don't know what they eat. You are what you eat. Remember that, folks. You are what you eat. I can't go and eat sushi joints. My God, how do they eat that raw fish? You like raw fish? No. Uh, Good for you. Do we agree on something, possibly? Look at Sonny Beach here, applying the pressure to Barry Horowitz. Trying to just continue that pressure around the neck and the ear of Horowitz. Almost side suplexed him now, turned around nicely by Sonny Beach. Holds him back over. Horowitz trying to turn a negative into a positive. He nearly did right there. I gotta tell you something, these two guys are two fine athletes. I'm gonna tell you that right now. They know what they're doing in that ring also. You know, they're up and coming stars. You know, this uh, Horowitz has also got six years amateur, so he's no slouch. He's got that amateur ability in him. He also got 11 years of professional ability. And yeah, but you see what he just did for every bit of technical skill he has. He's a cheater as well. He'll That's rip good as well. As long as he's not caught, my friend. Do you cheat a little bit? Tell me something, really. Do you cheat a little bit? Look on your own paper. Let me tell you something. Everybody Look on cheats. your own paper. I look at my own paper. And there it says. You know why? D. George cheats a lot. Hey, I have your paper. You look on your own paper, pal. You can look in the mirror and smile. That's not what Paul Orndorff, some of these others in the past have done. We shouldn't think about him. We should think about people like, like the Night Stalker. How about Colonel Red and his? They're my, they're my favorites, my friend. I'm, now I like Orndorff. He finally came to his senses. Orndorff I like, the Night Stalker. How about Kevin the Truth Case? Those guys. Look at that. Good. Left by Sunny Beach on Horowitz. He's holding on to that headlock, man. It's like a vice around his head. He's holding on that headlock. He's got it tight, man. Here's another great match. And the winner has another feather in their cap, whoever wins this one, man. This is just a stepping stone to bigger and better things for the UWF. Good chance for both of them, no doubt about that. Over blocked by Sunny Beach, knocks down Horowitz, jumps over him, leap frog by Horowitz. Oh, he steps right on his face. Now, there's a great move, a clean move. You're always bragging about how clean this beach is. You call that a clean move? That was a baloney move, man. Why, you? What a rough time. You can't beat him one way, you gotta beat him the other way. He's going after Horowitz again, and he's pulling that hair. Referee can't see anything. And Horowitz hits him with the right hand. What a chinlock. <laughs> Those teeth must be shaking now, baby. Horowitz oh, with a good flying elbow. It's red hot in that ring now, man. Himself in the back. It's red hot in that ring right now. These guys oh, with a big right hand. These guys are getting their second win to Georgia and they're going all out. What a great knee lift! A super knee lift! Oh! Oh, it's 
to standing in the face of Sonny Beach and implanting that shoe into his face. And every girl winces here with every shot to the face of Sonny Beach. Sonny Beach is in trouble now. Maybe he wishes he was back in Santa Monica, surfing in that ocean, man. Oh, a fireman carry. A beautiful amateur and professional move. Super move by the star of David Horowitz. Oh! What a knee that drop. clever move. He pulled the knee pad down to make sure he hit him flush with his knee, not the pad. And that landed on Sonny Beach. I think Sonny Beach's Adam's apple must be sticking out the back of his neck on that one, baby. You know, that was my big move, the knee drop. And it, oh, it one, out. two, ah, oh, kick yeah. out. Cool. What great move. What great finishing move. Super. I didn't think they had that move in your day, John. They had them all, baby. In my day, they had them all, and I had it all. Double underhook takes him over suplex. A great suplex again. I love suplexes, man. They're great. A roll up. One, two, a kick out by Beach. Horowitz is red hot now, man. He smells victory. There's the abdominal stretch. And he's using the rope. There's a rope for leg. There's the rope. There's a left side. The rope on the left seat. He lets it go. There's a painful move, man. All the way up to the leg. To the side. Did not use the rope. And under the armpit. That's where he got on. He almost got it. What's he doing? He's pulling on the rope again. And the ref doesn't see it. And he's a got it. set, meanwhile, continues to. One, two. Really uh, hurt Sunny Beach. It's very hard to get out of that abdominal stretch unless you got a lot of strength. And apparently Sonny Beach showed oh. a lot of strength. And there he goes, oh, right, our, uh, great right, in, cameraman, right into the cameraman. <laughs> he shows the strength, getting those great close-ups of Sonny Beach. Wow, it's with a right hand, straining elbow, elbow right down. back. Another elbow, a right elbow right back. Another elbow, another chop to the back. A chop to the... Chest into the rope. Whoa! What an elbow. elbow, yes. Oh, it's into the rope. Right this on body block of a no. It's reversed by feet. You may get him right here. Hook the leg, can't get him. A kick out. Boy, these two guys are showing great quality. I'm great quality, man. man. Woo! Yes. Great recuperative ability on both sides. Just when you think they're out. Just when you think they're finished. Oh, Horowitz is asking. Horowitz is asking for a little timeout. But believe me, Beach ain't giving them nothing. Whoa! Flying right elbow. elbow! Beach now, possibly trying that wipeout move. No. Elbow to the top of the head. Knocked it's down Horowitz. Hooks the line. Can't get it. And Horowitz picks out. Asking for timeout now. Now he's begging. Horowitz has enough. He's trying to get out of the ring. But Beach pulls him back in again. It is a paddle car to roll up. Take a beautiful in. one, two, Take and that because it's a reverse. One, two, three, and he got him with the tight. He got him with the tight. There's your boy. And Sonny Beast comes up victorious here. He could have went either way. He did go on the tight. I tell you, when the referee ain't looking, who cares? You win anyway when it comes to the UWF. As long as you win. But I'm going to tell you about this Horowitz. Yeah, there's no shame in coming, man. You're losing this match. Back to basics, what professional wrestling used to be. That's what the Universal Wrestling Federation is all about. Here's the power of the UWF. Here's the latest information of the UWF stars, upcoming shows, feuds and debuts. We've got Steve Dr. Des Williams, Paul Mr. Wonderful Landorf, B. Brian Blair, Cowboy Bob Orton, John Tolis. Captain Lou Albano, right here. Wow, when you talk about Herb Abrams, when you're talking about Steve Williams, you're talking about the class personified, the true world champion. And this is the man, chairman of the board, president of Universal Wrestling, that's bringing wrestling back to where it should be. A proud bunch of men that are truly men. World's best athletes, professional wrestling. Woo! Universal Wrestling. Call now. Join the growing legion of wrestling fans and fanatics all over the world to join the Universal Wrestling Federation power line. Call 1-900-420-4UWF. Call now! 
Hi, I'm Sam Perkins of the Los Angeles Lakers. And I'm here with some of the kids at the Los Angeles Child Guidance Clinic. Thanks to the staff and volunteers here at the clinic, the children in our community have a place where they can turn to for counseling, guidance, and a hope for a better tomorrow. The Child Guidance Clinic, founded in 1924, will be expanding soon as plans for a bigger facility just a few blocks away are in the making. Hi, I'm Cecilia Johnson, clinical director of the Los Angeles Child Guidance Clinic on West Adams Boulevard. I'd like to extend my heartfelt thanks to Prime Tickets and Reebok for giving something back to our community. In these times, we all need to reach out to the children in our community, and we cannot do it without your help. If you or your company would like to donate to the Los Angeles Child Guidance Clinic, please call me, Cecilia Johnson, at 213-749-4111. Introducing first from Berlin, Germany, weighing 260 pounds, being accompanied by his manager, Kevin McCruz Casey, Helmut Hessler. Guys, he's seen that nine eyes. I'm just around a couple of guys' heads. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what. This 
through. The Golden Greek is going to predict another Golden victory. I've taken the Germans over this wet wild speed play. What do you think of that? I think you've lost it, John. All right. If you want a little bet? Let's you make told a little. Somebody want to bet a couple of weeks ago. I'm betting you. Well, anyway. let's bet this time. Let's bet a coke. Let's bet a seven All up. Right. That sounds like a commercial, doesn't it? Yeah. But I ain't getting paid. Oh, uh, you're on. The Wild Thing Ray, who is uh, taking his time here to get going. He's got his partner, Sunny Beach, who's sitting quite comfortably left of your screen. Look at that German pacing there up and is. down. Pacing up and down like a hungry animal. Like a hungry animal, man. He's in here, boy. He's in here for one reason, to win, 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 and win. I think uh, you're overlooking Steve Ray here. Helmut Hesper, a frenetic German in the ring. And Wild Thing Ray in a real battle of two of the best here in the UWF. They're both scrappy. Break it up, Wild Thing, break it up. It was a great move by Wild Thing, very good move. Uh, his goal to bring Eastern Bloc style wrestling to the United States, he has done that. He's also, unfortunately, though, brought Kevin and Drew Casey as manager, who we can certainly do without. I'm going to tell you something, George, you mark my words. You're going to say, Greek, you're right. I think the Wild Thing is going to pay the price tonight. No question about it. I think he's going to go down because I think the German is just a little too tough for him and a little too smart and a little better shape than Wild Thing. And look at that great move. A super move by the German. And look at this. Wild Thing gets up like it was nothing. Well, good uh, suplex. Took him down as you see Casey getting bothered by the crowd again. Now, was it belly to belly, maybe? Wild Thing Ray's got Kessler in a belly. And Hester, Mr. Tolis' man, rolling to the corner looking for a timeout. Woo! I tell you, man, that wild thing has really come on. He's getting more vicious and meaner every time he comes out. Who won this guy out, What man? is he crying about now? What is he crying about now? That's where he's pushing back Wild Thing Ray. He's going to get right in the middle of it. That's not a good idea. Oh, he's got the right hand. <laughs> right hand. That was a blind right because it came over the referee's back. And Wild Thing never saw. You know, this Hessler, too, tremendous amateur background. Tremendous amateur background. And tremendous... But he's got the move, too. Yep. They all got the move. Right there. Universal Wrestling Federation Beach Brawl is now available on video cassette. The critics have hailed it as one of the most action-packed nights in the history of the sport. Add power to your video library with this once-in-a-lifetime power jam. The UWF Beach Brawl features Dr. Death, Steve Williams, Bam Bam Bigelow, Paul Mr. Wonderful Orndor, Who Went Wild, Cactus Jack, and many more. Also available, the best of the UWF volumes 1 through 6. Order each cassette separately, or for a limited time only, if you order all six at once, you'll receive the Beach Brawl video absolutely free, along with an autographed photo of UWF champ Dr. Death Steve Williams. Cassettes sold separately are $19.95 each for shipping and handling. Order all best of tapes from $119.70 and get the Beach Brawl video absolutely free. Send check or money order to Abrams Entertainment Group, 2532 Lincoln Boulevard, Marina Del Rey, California, 90291. Or call 213-822-4187 for more information. Prime Ticket is proud to sponsor Hoop It Up, part of the world's largest three-on-three -three street ball festival, returning to Huntington Beach September 19th and 20th. There are divisions for men, women, and children of all ages and abilities, so whether you're a couch potato or a top gun, Hoop It Up has a place for you. Upper Deck of the Orange County Register presents the 1992 Huntington Beach Hoop It Up. Stop by the country's display at Footlocker locations for an official entry, or call 714-536-5268. Hoop It Up is sponsored by AT&T, Southwest Airlines, KMBC Radio, The Waterfront, Hilton Beach Resort, KEZY Radio, and Prime Ticket. Where can you use the Players Club card? Las Vegas, Atlantic City, the Caribbean, on cruise ships. Sometimes you just need to get away from it, all right? But these days, you got to be smart about it. With a Players Club card, you save 25, 50% off your room, 25% off food and drinks, 
up to 50% off shows, the Players Club card. Have some fun the smart way. New members get two free nights in Las Vegas or Atlantic City when the club books their flights. Call toll-free right now. There's no obligation. On Ray, what's he doing now, though? He's looking at the crowd. Here comes Wild Thing from behind. He's behind him. He takes him into the rope. Wanted to flip back over. There's there. experience for you. Yeah. There's experience. Oh! What a clothesline! And the German goes over! Over the railing! What a tremendous clothesline by the Wild Thing! He's going crazy! Now the Wild Thing's on the apron waiting for him! Look at this! Oh! oh and he backed them both! He took down both of them! He took down Casey! He took down Hasbro with one move! And now he headbutts him! Spin to the table, look out! Wild Big Ray going wild here. Elbow to the head of Hassan, another shot to the right side. Watch out, Casey's behind him somewhere. Takes a shot to the midsection. And here we go again, man. Where's Casey? Uh, he's coming over there now. Referee's holding him back. He's got the, he's got the golf club. Oh, it's the dude, Hassan with the golf club. And down goes the Wild Thing. Oh, a vicious another shot at the golf club. They're going crazy. It's two against one. What, what's the side he's of Pete doing? Over there. He's taking it over there. He's taking it over there. Here he comes. Here comes oh, Pete Stowers. Where's the, where's the stop? Where's the whistle? Something. Wild thing sits him to the table. Referee again distracted with Sonny Beach. He's not after the bell. They're trying to strangle him with the table. Ooh, I love this. They're tearing the whole arena apart. I love it. He's got the I table love it. Him. They're going crazy. Up foot, they're going nuts. The German is going crazy. He's going to show this wild thing what it's all about. And here comes the truth. Ho, 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 ho. Wild thing. Shot by that golf club, Sonny Beach. Finally gets in there to help out. He was held back by the referee. Now he suddenly came around and threw them both back into the ring. Woo! Everybody did it. Everybody's standing up on this one. Oh, another wild oh, one. It's got to be so frustrating for Sonny Beach, the partner, to be held back to watch another wild thing go through what he went through. Another UWF Universal Wrestling Federation tremendous wild match. This is what wrestling is all about. Oh, and the Golden Greek Lumpen. Aren't you excited on this one, baby? Something else. Woo! I don't like to see the illegal tactics. That I don't like. And we've seen it that time and time again. From Casey. I love all the truth. And you see anything but the truth of that guy and his man, Helmut Hessel. If he's such a great amateur champion from Europe, let's see it. Close line. There's a great amateur move right there. A super move by 260 pounds, Helmut Hessler. And he's got the wild thing down. He's got 242 pounds. Wild thing, Steve Ray down. And Steve Ray is in big trouble. Big, big trouble. The tables may turn. The tables are going to turn right here. Oh, hit him with a devastating close line to the neck. He's going to hook the leg and he may put him away right here. One, two. Steve Ray picks out. A lot of guts, a lot of guts. Another count. No, not yet. He's not down. Steve Ray is trying to kick out. He's no, in, he did. He's in trouble. Steve Ray is in trouble. Big, big trouble. And I'll bring down. Steps over that top rope, middle rope rather. Takes a shot to the back of the neck. Look out. Casey shot him again with the golf club. But he got a shot in on Casey. Manager this Casey is. What a great manager. Two tremendous managers. Colonel Red and Casey. The truth. Tremendous. And they're managing tremendous wrestlers. This German is really on top of Wild Thing now. Really going at him. Hook line and finger man. A vicious right hand to the body. Casey looks more like Arnold Palmer from his managing style. Great suplex by Hester. Using that golf club more than anything else. A 
But I'm going to tell you one thing. I got to give them both a ton of credit, man. A ton of credit. But I still say the Germans going to take it. The Germans going to take it. And, and that's the rope. No! Oh! He buckled the German in the big knee to the big section. Thing, man. If anybody mucks up here, you don't get a second chance. These guys are really fighting with guts, heart, and everything else, man. They're really going all out. Say either one of them wants to win, baby. Oh, what a strike! He wants to finish out both, but I think he's got his hands full with the German and the race. Leave the manager alone. Leave the truth alone. Concentrate on your opponent. The first goal. Oh, oh let's get him in the rope. He puts him in the rope. And Casey oh. kicks him out. Casey grabbed the top rope. Casey, Casey grabbed went the top to the rope. again. Now they're both outside. Beach over there. That's, we hear a bell? Somebody's in the out. That's it. What happened? DQ. Casey going to the left. Both out, man. Chasing them both out. A disqualification. After all the interference, the truth was finally penalized for it in a grueling victory on a DQ Ooh. by Steve Wild Thing Ray. What a match. What a match. I'll tell you one thing, man. Spartanburg, South Carolina. You've got to admit it, man. They see tremendous fantastic matches that the Universal Wrestling Federation and believe me, the George, this is just the beginning. Wild Thing still slow to get up. You can see Hester and his attitude making their way off. They find out the real truth of this guy. publication has it all. The Cal High Sports edition of Student Sports Magazine. Monthly coverage of California's youth high school JC and college teams, players and coaches combined with the edge on how to improve athletically and academically. That's right, skill tips in all sports plus concentration, self-discipline and nutritional tips for peak performance. Call now, 800-888-TIPS, just $29. That's 800-888-TIPS.
same without them. 